Welcome to our series of videos on ImageLine's DirectWave Sampler plugin. In this first video, we'll take a quick tour of the instrument's interface as well as loading up samples from the various supported formats. The DirectWave plugin can load from a wide variety of sample library formats, including sound fonts, Akai sample libraries, native instruments libraries, Giga sample formats, eMagic libraries, and of course, individual WAV files, making it a very flexible sampler that allows you to expand your potential sound library without having to have a separate plugin for each format. To access DirectWave from within the FL Studio environment, you simply only need to create its instrument channel by selecting Channels, Add One, DirectWave, a new channel will be created and the DirectWave interface will appear. Let's begin with loading a library into the plugin so we can take a closer look at the interface. For this example, I have converted an Akai sample CD to various formats that DirectWave can understand to demonstrate its ability to load from numerous sample formats. To load a library, select the open icon and choose Open Program Bank. From the Open File dialog, navigate to where your library is stored. By default, all supported formats will be displayed. Of course, if you're looking for a particular format, you can use the File Type dialog to filter which formats are displayed. For sake of demonstration, I have converted an Akai sample library to various formats that are supported by DirectWave. Upon opening the library, you can see how DirectWave has maintained all the mappings for that library in regards to their key zones and any velocity zones, making it easy to load up and go. You can audition the samples by clicking on their corresponding map key from the interface's built-in keyboard. Of course, you can also audition the sample by playing a note from the channels on the screen's keyboard. Now, if you have watched our videos on SliceX, you might remember how we briefly covered the content library, which allow you to download samples from ImageLine's large online library, many of which are free. Within DirectWave as well, it is easy to access this library to load samples directly into the instrument. To load samples from your content manager, click on the Sample Fusion Load Preset button. The content manager will appear. Navigate to a library that you wish to load and double click on the library. It will automatically be loaded and the samples mapped to their correct keys. The top half of the interface is divided into two tabs. The first tab is the program tab. From here, you will be able to tweak the zones for loaded samples as well as control and other aspects of the samples. We'll be taking a closer look at this later on. In the second tab is the library tab. Here, any libraries that you have created and saved will appear here, giving you quick access to these libraries in future projects. We'll be taking a closer look at saving and creating libraries later on. The bottom half of the interface consists of three tab pages. The first is the Program tab. Here you will be able to make changes to the FX sections such as Reverb and Chorus. The Zone page allows you to tweak the audio from the selected zone, such as Send to the Reverb apply modulation, filtering, and amplitude envelopes. The final tab is where you will make alterations to the start and stop points of the sample for the selected zone. Again, we'll be taking a closer look at each one of these sections later on more in depth. Okay, so now that we have an overview idea of how to load the instrument as well as load sample libraries into it, in the next video, we'll be taking a closer look at the zone editor window.